Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool real-time 3D hero banner that can be integrated into your website using Spline and Framer. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in Spline and I am creating a new Spline project. Um, so here is the startup screen and let's remove this default rectangles because we don't need it. And then let's create a sphere. So we're going to use the sphere as the environment for the whole scene. So let's make it really big like this. And on the right panel, let's go to the materials and change this color channel to image. And from here, I can click on this to load a 360 image of the sky that I already have here. Let's hit open. And now you can see that the sky picture is being mapped to the sphere like this. But I want it to be in the inner side of the sphere. So all I have to do is just go to the visibility here and change it to the back side. And now we have something like this, but it's a little bit dark. So let's turn off the lighting channels and also turn off the cast and receive shadows. Um, so now we can have a really nice environment sphere like this. And then the next thing I want to do is to just uh, drag the 3D model of this plane into the scene. So all I have to do is to go to sketchfab.com and search for a free uh, plane airplane model. Uh, so let's search for a Boeing 787. And make sure to turn on the downloadable to uh, filter down the result. And you can select any of these models that have a download icon on the top right corners. So I'm going to go with this one because it looks very nice and it's pretty lightweight. So give it up to iSteven to share this uh, 3D model for free. So I'm going to click here to download this GLB format. So let's select the uh, texture, 2K texture version. Uh, it's only one megabyte. So I think it's going to be um, pretty uh, appropriate for what we're doing here. So after you download the file, let's just drag the GLB into the scene. And then bam, just like that, we have this plane in the middle of the environment sphere. So, and then I'm going to adjust this positioning as well as the scale of the plane to make everything looks natural. And you can also switch from autographic view to perspective view. So we can have a more natural looks. Uh, so you can see that after a few adjustments, we can have this really nice and realistic uh, 3D scene. And then I'm going to move the light a little bit to the back like this and increase the intensity a little bit. And then we can also rotate the environment to have the sun match up with the light direction. So uh, it will look more realistic like this. Alright, so now you can play around with the material, maybe add some more layers. So I'm going to try with this um, matte cap layer to uh, add some kind of shininess to it. So let's switch to this channels and switch the blending mode to overlay and reduce the intensity by maybe 50. Um, so we can have like a little bit more an interesting material like this and then you can apply the same process to the rest of the plane and next step I'm going to make the spinning animation for the engine fan so so let's select the fan layers and create a state so we have the two state here the base state and the state and with the base state we're going to set the Z rotation to zero and the state is going to be 360 so we can have like a full loop circle and then let's create an event to trigger it. So we're going to go with the default uh, start event and select transition and click here to open the panels and let's select the transition from base state to state. And switch this to just linear animation and the duration is gonna be two seconds and the loop is gonna be infinite. And then let's click here to preview. So now we can have this um, constant animation of the engine. So now all we need to do is to apply the same for the other fan. All right, so this is what we got so far. So I think it's looking pretty cool. Um, so next thing we want to do is to export it into a public URL. So let's click here 
and adjust uh, the place setting a little bit so I'm going to turn up the logos and also disable the um, pan option as well as the zoom and the shop orbit as well so all of these we don't need it um, so down here let's turn on this on hover option and let's go with orbit cameras and uh, waiting for it to update this public URL scene so we can have a preview Alright, so this is what we have. So when I move the mouse cursor, the camera also move as well. But uh, I think it's a little bit too much. Um, so I'm going to go back and reduce the sensitivity to 10. And then update it the scene to see. Uh, so now it's a little bit better. Uh, but I think we can even go more subtle. So let's try with 5. And let's preview so now this is what i'm talking about like some subtle movement to make it really dynamic but not too much so let's go with this and then i'm going to go back here and click export and let's wait for this to generate a public url so we can embed it to the framer component uh, and then in the meantime let's go to framer so we can start a new site with ai or paste from figma or start from scratch so uh, I wanted to make my life uh, more difficult, so I will start from scratch. Alright, so we have a blank canvas here, so I'm going to adjust the size to uh, 1440. And let's create a frame for the hero banners by go to layout, framed, and then create a rectangle. And then let's fix the width to uh, relative and 100% of the viewport and then let's go to insert and search for a embed component and drag this one to the frame and then adjust the size to match the viewport Alright, so with this components all set, I'm going to go down to this um, section here to paste the URL link that we got from Sply. So let's go back to Sply and then copy this URL. Uh, so click here to copy the link and then just paste it to this form right here. And then let's give it a few seconds to load and then bam, you have this really nice slide. Uh, scene embedded to this framer side so let's preview so it works perfectly on this platform and then now we can add some text on top of this component Alright, so now we have this really nice headline on top of the component like this and it's working perfectly. And let's publish the site to see it's in real context. Uh, so yeah, it's look even better like this. Um, you can just move the mouse cursor and also like you click and drag to change the orientation and move around. So it will be a really nice and impressive hero banner for your website. And from here, you can continue to build up the rest of the site, uh, like what I'm doing here. And then we can have something really cool like this. Uh, so this is the end of my tutorial today. So I hope you found this one helpful and I will see you in the next one. All right.